Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. So we're on this book. We're a quarter way through now. And we're looking at Lycona's thoughts on the letters of Paul and the resurrection of Christ. The next item on our list is the letters of the Apostle Paul. Paul is a very important for two reasons. He is our earliest written source that mentions the resurrection of Jesus. Since his letters very probably predate the Gospels and were written sometimes between AD 48 65 or 18 to 30 years after Jesus' crucifixion, he also claims to have named, known other leading disciples to whom the risen Jesus had appeared. All four Gospels are quite clear that the resurrection of Jesus was something that occurred on the, to the corpse of Jesus. When the woman and others came to the tomb on Easter morning, the body was no longer there. Jesus is later seen. He prepares and eats food. He is touched and he invites others to touch him. However, a significant minority of scholars claim that the empty tomb was a legend invented by Paul and Luke. And John invented a physical Jesus in their Gospels as a response to the Docetists who did not believe that Jesus even actually had a physical body. Paul is thus a very important source for us in understanding the early Christian belief in Jesus' resurrection. And so I just want to say there, just a point that, you know, these atheists say, well, uh, you know, you can't prove the resurrection by using the Bible. Hmm. Well, actually, some of the Bible, uh, when it comes to the resurrection, is actually historical source material. You don't have to believe the Bible is the Word of God to know that Paul's letters, just as historical letters, tell us information. And when we look at those letters, they tell us that right early on in the early church, in 1 Corinthians 15, we have early so historical source material that goes right back to the very time of Jesus' death and resurrection, which shows you that there can be no time for development of a myth. It was already believed that Jesus died and rose again. And, and that's an important historical fact. For example, uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, the first few verses, Paul says, and of first importance, we know that this is the way rabbis used oral tradition for passing on information. Uh, and the oral tradition that they used was um, they had a, a much stronger memory and they were trained to memorize and they were trained to tell uh, the teaching of the rabbi or philosopher so what we're saying is 1 Corinthians 15 is early histor early reliable historical source material and to say that there is, it developed mythologically is just to fly into the face of the facts of the case I would like to debate Richard Carey on it but and I would like people to be aware of this more but Thousands of my videos were taken down by atheists and I was harassed by them and they phoned me up and threatened me and now all my scholarly work's gone and that's why I'm doing these videos.